Before I get started, I want to address the definition of sample that I'm going off of today for this video. A sample of music can be anything you've sampled from another track, a rhythm, a melody, a beat, vocals, or speech, which you then manipulate, edit, chop up, or loop to fit creatively within your own work. What's important to note is that this is all done legally and fits in the bounds of fair use, and this also depends on the country's laws in place. They're not plagiarized, and I have plenty of those instances in other videos if you'd like to check those out. Some of the examples I present may not be considered a sample by some, but the homage and reference is still worth noting. This is part four of another set of samples in K-pop music referencing Western music work, so let's jump right in. First things first, can we bring back Stan Luna? They were done so dirty. But anyways, if you recall their 2018 song Favorite, at the very beginning of the song, if you listen closely, it is a sample of Jesse J's Real Deal from the year before. Hello. Welcome. We have two La Seraphim entries on this list, and the first one from last year in 2023, their song Unforgiven, featured a sampling from the classic Western movie The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and if you listen closely in the chorus, you can hear the sound going on in the background. <laughs> Back in 2022, the Cosmic Girls subunit Chocome came out with Super Yuppers. Super fun to say, I must say. Had an interpolation or sample at the very beginning of the song from the classic 1980s hit Michael Sambello's Maniac, made famous by the classic movie Flashdance. American boy band Why Don't We teamed up with AB6 to release a special remix of their song Adrenaline back in 2021. And in that song, in both versions, it features a sampling of Kanye West's Black Skinhead from 2013. In the last video, I briefly mentioned about how 90s K-pop is the Wild West when it comes to sampling. Borderline questionable. G.O.D. is another example with their song Me For You features a sampling of hollow notes out of touch. Whether or not they obtain the rights to it is another story. With Blackpink's 2022 Pink Venom, the song samples or pays homage to famous American songs at three different instances, referencing their lyrics within their raps and verses. From Notorious B.I.G. to Rihanna to 50 Cent. K-pop loves their 80s references, and I can't complain. Donkeys, also known as DKZ as they now go by, also referenced an 80s classic movie, Ghostbusters, and their song, Blockbuster. <laughs> Hey. 
At one point last year, 5050 were riding high, and the new upcoming Barbie movie capitalized on their popularity for their song Barbie Dreams. And in that promotional song, it does feature a sampling of the same structure as Janet Jackson's Together Again from 1997. Another G.O.D. example from their debut album and their song, Come Back To Me, it features a sampling of extreme more than words. Again, Wild West in the 90s. For their debut song, Fearless, La Seraphim sort of sampled Shakira's Whenever, Wherever. It can more prominently be heard in the teaser for the song, but you can also still hear it in the pre-chorus. Oh, almost forgot. They also pay homage to Shakira and reference the same choreography in that spot in the song where it samples. When Brave Girls rebranded themselves as BB Girls for their song One More Time, they actually have multiple references. Many people thought that their song sounded very similar to Ava Max's So Am I, considering that there may have been some inspiration there. But it directly samples Rick James's Give It To Me Baby for their chorus. Give it to me, baby. For their 2019 song, Stray Kids' is Miro, at the very beginning, features a sample from the DJ Dank and their song Jungle Boogie from the year before. Espa came back big this year, and in their song Supernova, they actually reference the 1982 classic Planet Rock by Africa Bambata. The sample is most prominently heard in the bridge of the song. Well, friends, that is it for another part in this video series. There were a lot of songs to cover, which is why I had to do two videos. Hope you all have been enjoying them so far. Please don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons for me. Check out many more of my videos while you're here, and I shall see you next time.